Alrighty, well, you guys ready? Fun and games. I think or... Craig fell asleep. Oh, there he is. No, I'm still here. Yeah. Yeah. We've had our fun and games. Let's change the mood. Yes, please. <laughs> Man, we... Craig, if you would have not made it on the show today after this suggestion for the Luna Vachon depressing Dark Side of the Ring, mm -hmm. hey. Yeah. I don't know how many of these I can watch. You watched Dark Side of the Ring, The Many Faces of Luna Vachon, and it was, in fact, dark. A very yeah, accurate title. Yes. I didn't actually recommend. I just said throwing it out there were my exact words. And then a recommendation. <laughs> it no. wasn't my idea. <laughs> it wasn't your idea. Hey, listen, I liked it. It was just depressing. It's a very, very well-made television show. The show is called show. Dark Side of the Fucking yes. Ring. The, 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 the point is to... Uh, uh, Generate emotions in the viewing audience, and it certainly did that. It did, yes. So I met her once. Did you? But you know what's funny is I have absolutely, I cannot for the life of me remember where. I, I seem to recall that wherever it was, there was a show. I can't imagine you'd like bump into her at like Cinnabon. Well, no, I mean, it, it could have, I, I, I feel like it may have been like a, it, I don't think it was Cauliflower Alley. But it may have been some sort of convention where they were also, you know, they do those conventions and then there's the room and they've got the wrestling show in there or something like that. Sure. And I can't remember who I was with either, but uh, but she was there and uh, I had only ever seen her character. Mm -hmm. And she came out and she was so happy oh. and she was so nice and she sounded so sweet and it was like, Wow. I mean, it feels like this was uh, maybe mid two thousands, maybe I don't know. But anyway, I was I was caught off guard. Very very sweet the uh, the brief moment that I had spent with her. So we have a quick intro for uh, fans who didn't know who Luna was, and she certainly popped off the screen. She got her side of her head shaved and various face paints, or drawing veins on the side of her head, and. Doing that thing with her voice, like her and Road Warrior Hawk did, that I'm not going to do because she talked about how it destroyed her vocal cords, and I get paid my vocal cords, so I can't destroy them here. Uh, we see brief clips of her. Th this is actually interesting because I did not know a ton about her pre WWF career. I knew she was hmm. of a Sean, so I figured she worked a lot in Canada, and it turned out that was actually a small part of it. But uh, we meet one of her sons. His name is Van Hurd. She has at least one other son who is not a part of this show. But Van seems like a happy, well-adjusted young man. He's got his own children. He's got a, a chef career. And an important part of the show to know there's some kind of happy ending to this. Because think of how depressing the show would have been without him. So he grew up as Luna Vachon's kid. She was crazy a lot of the time. Bring her snake to school when he was like in elementary school. Embarrassing like that. Like that. Gangrel, of course, is all over the show. If you're not aware, he and Luna were married briefly and uh, in and out of each other's lives for a long time, before and after, in fact. And uh, talks about meeting her, vowing. They vowed to each other they would never date, and obviously that plan's changed. You know, the thing about this Van Hurd is uh, he was her second child. Mm -hmm. uh, she had two children, and uh, he was born in 1982. So in a lot of these, uh, you remember the Pillman one, for example, and, uh, you know, if they ever talked to, like, David Benoit, for example, uh, Owen Hart's kids, like, in a lot of these these stories of tragedy, the children were, like, very, very young when their parent passed away. Van Hurd was 28 years old. So, you know, some of these, you know, I'm sure that Pillman has some vague memories of his father, but I would think that like most of his memories are from things that he has been told and heard and learned and watched after the fact. Because I think he was like three or four years old. And, uh, you know, Van Hurd was good because, you know, he knew her well into his adult years. Yeah. So this is not based on what you were told or vague memories or whatever. I mean, he knew a lot about his mother and uh, all of the different things about her. And it was very interesting because... At the very end of the uh, the documentary, not to get ahead of it, but uh, what they're talking about after she'd passed away, they'd interviewed, what was the lady wrestler's name? Penelope. Penelope. It was Mad Maxine and Penelope Paradise. Mm -hmm. So uh, they're interviewing her, and she's like, oh, man, it's too bad there was no funeral because, uh, man, Luna would have loved like a, a Har oh, bunch yeah. of Harleys. Fireworks and, and pyro. Fireworks oh, yeah. and all this craziness. And she's telling the story, and they go to Van Hurt, and he goes, eh, she wouldn't want any of that. She was very private. 
Yep. <laughs> well, that was the, interesting. The biggest revelation Van had was uh, his mother's real name, Gertrude. Gertrude. Mm-hmm. But that was also interesting because, and also going back to the whole funeral thing, that can that one is easy to to see why two people had two wildly different stories because sure. one was her son. And one was someone who worked with her and admitted that she was always largely Luna Vachon. Mm-hmm. So uh, going back to the uh, name, her name was Gertrude, and they told the story about how when she was growing up, it was so embarrassing to stand up in front of the class and say that her name was Gertrude. But interestingly enough, Penelope referred to her always as Trudy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I would presume that after a few humiliations, she probably started referring to herself as Trudy, would be my guess. Sure. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.